Welcome to BNB RV. Am I, am I actually recording or? Welcome to BNB RV. Today we'll be walking you through our 2023 Thor Chateau 25M. First, we're going to take you around the outside and then we'll jump around in there. The first compartment we have here is where your generator will be stored. Next in line is your propane tank. A few storage compartments on the outside of the coach here. You can see on the inside, there's some of the few hospitality items we provide for our renters. Down below on this one is just holding your uh, onboard freshwater tank, so you don't really need to get in there for anything. This does come equipped with a cable hookup and 30 amp power. Uh, also an outdoor shower. Down below, is where you empty out your waste holding tanks for your black and your gray tank. And then finally over here, is where you fill up your unleaded fuel. Around the back of the coach here, we do have your city water connection where you're gonna hook up that hose directly if you have that water spigot at your campsite. On the other side here is where you fill up that onboard freshwater tank. Right around the corner here, uh, this is just gonna be your water heater. So it's probably the largest storage compartment on the RV here. Moving down, we just have a couple of vents, so fridge vent, furnace vent here. Another good size storage compartment there. And then right above that, you have a couple of 110 plugs on the outside of the coach here. Let's take a look inside. Right inside the entry door here, we have our main control panel. This top left-hand corner will display your generator hours that are currently on the generator. Right beside that is your start and stop switch for your generator. Next up is our tank levels. So you have these uh, little buttons here for your propane, your battery, your fresh water tank, and then your black waste water and your gray waste water. Down below, we have a few buttons here, your slide extend and retract. You can turn on your water pump from here and then two options for hot water, either propane or 110 volt. Here in the cab area, most of these controls are very similar to what you may have seen before. Some of the items that we'll go over may be a little bit different than what you've seen. For instance, the stereo, instead of running off of the, the regular battery, like in your vehicle, it runs off the house batteries in the back. Uh, so you just wanna make sure you turn that on and off from that power button there. Otherwise you may run down your house batteries. Uh, also over here to the left of the stereo is an emergency start switch. For that, if you happen to run your engine battery down, leave the keys in the ignition or door open, something like that, uh, you can actually push and hold that emergency start button and jump your engine battery from your house batteries. Also provided is a privacy curtain. Uh, one end of this has Velcro on it, which attaches to these little black circles, which are also Velcro for a little privacy here in the cab. Directly above the cab, we have a sleeping area. So you'll find this cushion here. You'll just pull this in and that kind of locks in place to complete that bed. There is a ladder provided in the rear uh, that attaches to these two black hooks there. And then you also have a swivel TV that can swing out uh, and a provided DVD player up above here. Jumping over to the kitchen area, we have some nice counter space here. Some storage above your kitchen sink as well as above your microwave. The microwave does run off a 110 power, so you'll either have to be plugged in or running your generator for that. Down below, you have some more storage, another cabinet, and a few drawers here. Three burner stove top and a oven, which both run off of your propane. Then a little bit more storage down below. Beside that is your pantry. So you have a couple drawers here and then a couple of pull out drawers as well. Freezer up top, and then down below is your refrigerator. Across from your kitchen, you have a four-person dinette. There are seat belts in the center of each of these. This does convert into a bed. To do that, you'll just wanna lift these cushions up and out of the way. You'll see a little lever underneath the table here that you'll just release, and then push the table down from the back. And then these cushions will kinda of push together to fill in that bed space. One of the more unique features about this RV, being only 25 feet, it does have an additional sofa for some, some more seating. 
This does also convert into your bed, so that's a Murphy style bed where you'll just remove these two cushions. There's a couple of elastic bands here that you'll just have to release. Just make sure this is a pinch point here, so I would pull this down from the side, pull the leg out, and then that just drops down into your queen size bed. Also in the bedroom area, you have a nice uh, another TV here uh, with some storage behind it. Uh, a couple of drawers here for some more storage for some clothing. Um, you also have your temperature control right here, so you can turn on your air conditioner and your furnace from here. Moving into the bathroom, on the left you have a wardrobe, uh, closet space there with a few drawers for storage. Above your sink you have a nice size medicine cabinet as well as some storage down below the sink. You also have the pedal style toilet. Uh, so as you push that pedal down about halfway, you'll see the water begin to, to fill up that bowl. And then to flush the toilet, you'll just push the pedal all the way down to the ground there. Uh, you do have a good size stand up shower with hot and cold water faucet as well as a switch on the shower head so you can uh, take those military showers. This 25 foot class C with one slide out is great for small families and groups. Give us a call or visit our website to book your next trip.